everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield and I am your go-to Road to Kingdom dance analyst and we are finally here. We are starting Road to Kingdom Ace of Ace with the Ace battles as well as the intro stages. So this is going to be split up into two parts for YouTube, but it's all going to be done in one go on Patreon and you don't have to wait if you are on Patreon. So I am just so excited to just be able to start in real time. I'm just, I'm just through the moon on it and I do intend on looking at the episode as well same day but it'll get released later on on YouTube hopefully if the copyright doesn't kill me so I think without further ado I think it's time to get started the crew won and they picked Jimin ace of the crew one he's got a little time piece I'm sorry Wow, he can be on, um, what is it? Shush, Stage Fighter. Because apparently the first couple episodes are just gonna be critiquing people's physiques, so he'd be perfect for the show. He looks great. Look at all the effort. A lot of upper body utilization. What are we doing? Cool. Was that just a barrel jump, maybe? The turn was fine. That was fun. He walks to the back. What are we doing? Does the flower close? Or does it just fall down? Okay. He has the pine piece. Are we... I'm assuming we're... Are we establishing a lore for our show? Maybe. That would be a great idea. Especially, I feel like Crew 1, um, they're trying to, you know, make the boys proud. I've, I've heard that mentioned because, what, ATBO is the Hubeys, I think, right? Don't forgive me if I'm wrong, of, um, of, of the boys. So that makes sense. But Jimin, I think this would just, this would just be. Okay. So this one, if every group has a prop then it's going to not just be content, how you choose to do it, if you're choosing to dance. Oh, who choreographed it? Ryu D. I've heard that name before. Oh, hold on. I know where that name came from. That's auspicious. So, we're, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Crew 1's going to have auspicious on their lineup. I think they've worked with... I. Uh, They've worked with them before. No, they've worked with ATBO before. So I doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, cool. Cool. That makes me feel really good that I wasn't completely out of pocket on my guesses. Okay, sweet. We're here for it. So he goes, he sets it up. I like the flower. It's really cool. How he sets it up, I like the uses of the fog is cool. And he goes, he expands it around. Very majestic in the upper body. But that's the problem. That's the note. And this is a choreography note. Um, it is It is very upper body focused. We don't really utilize the ground as much. We use our spacing and staging pretty okay, but we don't utilize our prop outside of it just being an environmental piece, which I think is fine. But remember, it is a competition. They're not being judged on a schema of criteria. We have to remember that, at least in this portion. I don't think that's the case, or they would have told us, or I would have known about it. Mm, they're going off of a straight up comparison. Is that fair? For the type of show lineup, nothing's fair on an Mnet show. Let's call it what it is. So we're, for me, I would say prop utilization, if you choose to have one, is going to be a factor for me, as well as your content, how complex or how captivating is your performance, as well as how does your movement complement what you're doing too. You don't have to overkill it on the most complex things in the world, but you do, however, need to hold it down in telling your story and creating a balance in your piece, especially as a soloist. So right here, he goes, sets it around. I like the majesticness of the music too. He sets it up very well. He has this moment, he walks forward, living it up. I love it, he goes da 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 So he definitely has a nice little breath to it in the upper body. Then he goes up, boom, he drops it down. Nice, he goes, little ball change switch, boom, presenting, he hits. 
and then he goes, he throws the arms, drops it low. Now, because it's an aerial shot, it was hard for me to clock the floor work. So now I do retract what I said. He does use the floor. I didn't think he did, but aerial shot proves otherwise. He goes, he takes the leg, he sweeps it around to create a nice moment. Did he do a stomach like some of my other guys have already done? Yes! He did the same thing that one is did and eight turns. So I'm telling you, there's these bridge recovers that you're seeing in that's called a stomach and breaking, at least from where I've learned uh, terminology wise, where they uh, just slide on roll on the floor and you have your legs up to create a transition to come up. So that's cool. He goes, he switches the legs, a little cross back. He has his moment, go rotating the arms, dropping it to the knee. He picks it up, he turns, boom. He has his accent, boom, to doom. So there's a lot of these angsty, tense, accented arms that I really feel um, are not allowing us the full potential of abstract choices. It just feels angsty for the sake of it. It doesn't feel constructive. Does that make sense? So, or functional. So he hits it, go high, low. It just, it, it feels like we're just dark uh, versus creating a functional storyline if you're choosing to have one because we have a flower bloomed what about it? Are you a, a corrupted petal or a corrupted blossom in the center or something, you know? I don't know. Right now, you just look angry is what it feels like, right? And that's, that's why having a sense of, you know, using a prop, if you're going to have it, using it to help with the function of it outside of just being a placeholder or in your movement, notice we're still very upper body heavy, dropping it down with the hinge. He picks it up, throw. It does feel like, are we trying to go crump on this because of the type of timbre and tonal color in the tone that we're hearing? It kind of feels like you could pull that. And his aggression in his choice is not quite full jabs or anything like that. But how he's throwing, it does give that impression that we're trying to go more masculine there, right? So he hits it up and he pulls, boom, boom. Notice we are kind of sticking around that same kind of spot over here in the front. He brings it over, he crosses and up, he hits it out he turns that's fine you know it is also i don't think it's shorter but it does kind of feel that way it could it, it could just be the beginning was a little bit longer which is fine and it goes da -da -da, and it goes doo -doo -doo -doo. once again very upper body justified so what i mean by that is sometimes you have people use their lower body to help hit certain parts of your music and sometimes you have people accent with their upper body in the case here it is very heavy on the upper body in all the different timbres that we're hearing and all the different sounds that we're trying to hit we're just fine up here versus letting the legs and letting the lower half carry some of that load. Because right now it's good for camera, but for me it feels very isolated in a way that doesn't feel complete. And I gave that note to when I watched Mammoth by Cravity because that one showcases similar symptoms if you've, if you've ever watched that one. So it goes click, click, click. So I like that the dissension was really nice. So he goes and he drops down, which is fun. I love having my, my guys live it up and, and watch. I think they're having a lot of fun with that. Of course, you have this nice little morbid thing in the back. So he takes it through the slide. So yes, he is using the floor, which is fine. He pulls, which is cool. They go high, boom, doom, doom, which is nice. We're here for that. He goes high, low, and it goes boom, boom. Now, is it boom, boom, boom? Let me see. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Okay, Not, nothing crazy. So he goes and resets. Then he goes, brings it to the back. He promotes a nice posture, a little porta bras, we would call that. Now here... He goes, he sets it up, he gets low, like he's about to do like a 540 or something like that. But what he ends up doing is just, I'll say maybe a double attitude, just, it's like a calypso structure or maybe a barrel jump structure. I'll probably go that where he goes and he finishes, but how he traveled it, it, it felt very like kind of up versus an actual travel. So that'd be my note there. He takes his arms and then this turn was cool. I wanted to see where his leg was placed. I'm assuming it was probably a coupe as he was doing his turn. And then we finish, nice little... Oh, it was fun. He faces and then he walks back to the flower and he melts down in a dramatic fashion. And then he holds a timepiece. So my only assumption is this is going to carry over into the intro stage or into the rest of the season. That's what I hope, because if going off of conversations I've heard from them, that could very well be an actual thing. So maybe we we're focusing more on lore justification or we were thinking more along the lines of just trying to go angsty or very full and powerful for the stage and the camera's gonna carry a lot of the weight on that. That's fine. Um, I do think at this point in time I wouldn't put this one as my top uh, but it is definitely one. He holds his own mighty fine. Remember everybody that we're seeing they're great 
in what they do. That they wouldn't be on the show if they weren't, you know? This is to help promote great groups, honestly. I think everyone's great. It's just sometimes there's, there's choreographies just don't hit the same way or the production or the camera work just doesn't get to showcase their full potential in a challenge. We're gonna experience that with everybody, you know what I mean? And I think that's absolutely fine. So in general, he did fine. Um, I, I, I don't know if this one would be top spot. If this one does go top spot, I mean, it, it happens. I'm not the one voting, you know, and that's fine. Moving on, this one. It had a really cool start. I am disappointed we didn't utilize this, this flower as much. behind everything you see how rigid it is in the upper body very heavy up here and I really want to see more usage of the lower half oh okay 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 so he did end up you know what beauty of a fan cam you know why because you got to see what kind of turn he did he did a drag turn he didn't do coupe which is fine. But also, mind you, we got another M. Nut Show stage fighter that you have people that do stuff like that. They do for like seven turns, man. They're freaking wild on that are going to be on that show. I cannot wait to, to, to work and put on my studio cap because that's what I live and breathe every day. But this turn right here, let's talk about it because this is the one thing I said I couldn't see it. Now I can see it. So he technically fell out of it. Uh, and he didn't really go on. I think he went up on Releve just a little bit, but then he dropped it and then he stopped himself and used his leg to kind of help create this nice fun punctuation. But you do want to have some sense of stability with it or you don't want it to feel like you're just flinging yourself. And that's kind of what it felt like. He had too much momentum. He lost his balance and he just compensated with the finish like that. That's what it looks like. That's just from my background, but it still looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It's still nice, cool finish, but my note still stands. This was probably, I would still put this one probably in the lower ranks because when we got prop utilization concept, uh, concept that we're trying to showcase, I see the connection to the groups, but if we had it in isolation, which is what I talked about, um, it's, it's a, we're not taking advantage of this really dope, beautiful flower um, moment there. It, I see that he's come out of it, but it just feels like he's dancing. And then he just goes back to it in a very dramatic way. It doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't, I don't see as much function to it as I've seen other people use their props. Cause we do have to play the comparison game in this specific competition because you're ranking people because there's no there's no criteria to go up against it's just preference is what you're really seeing so that's why i want people to really take a lot of this stuff with a grain of salt like take a lot of the scoring stuff with a grain of salt because the scores don't matter at the end of the day for me here's our baseline and how far can we grow in this competition is what i want us all to focus on it, at least when you're with me that's what i'm going to care about thank you guys for watching this with me i some of you guys have made it all the way through from the tip top of the ace analysis all the way through here if you're on patreon more power to you i'm shocked myself i made it through um but this makes me so excited i hope you're excited for to watch the episode with me um my goal is episode one will be released to the public but all future episodes are going to be um exclusive to paid members on patreon but i will have a group chat on patreon you do not have to be a um paid member it can be a free member to join and be a part of the discussions I'd love to meet you there. Rep your fandom. I also want to hear more context. What's going on in, in the neck of in the neck of the woods of all the fandoms? Is there any beef that's going on? Anything that's starting to stir that I can help kind of alleviate or put fires out on? I hope I was able to kind of cover some things here. But remember, I am team everyone except Mnet for this. I want everybody to grow. I want everybody to experience celebrations. I want everybody to experience, you know, growth and, and safe hardships. Yeah, like the challenges, I don't want to be left with PTSD, like what we've had from other kingdoms. I want to be able to put my best foot forward and help be an advocate for groups. And I hope I was able to be clear or constructive, but still show that I really do care about these groups and that they are people. And at the end of the day, who freaking cares about the rankings? Did they feel good about what they did? And I want them 
them to be able to celebrate that. So I'm excited for the discussions on all of this. You guys know me. I know you. I am Jess, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.